What's up? This is your boy Super, and I'm playing Fade to Silence, the open world survival crafting game that's similar to Dark Souls. We've all, where we left off, we only have two buildings. Oh, we, we've actually died and started over, I remember now. And we don't have enough for any tools. We have a torch, and we have arrows and a bow. So let's, uh, let's go get some meat. But, well, actually, we can just gather, grab anything. But what I want to do is make my way over to where we found the first survivor, which was over here. So on the way, we can... I don't have an axe. That's right. <laughs> In the last episode, we died and we get to see the roguelike elements. We started with uh, a whole bunch of wood and a whole bunch of food, which is awesome. It's pretty cool. up on the top of this building is the survivor but we don't even have a knife yet I'd like a knife before I go in there or a sword firewood or something to craft an axe or a sword with. the items I'm looking for rather there is a box or something up there I should go and check that out maybe time I'll do it slow so I can see what I get. Alright, come on Ripper, what you got? Firewood, healing pulses, primitive arrows, and eldritch essence. All right. Monsters nearby. Eldritch Essence times four. Food. Okay, I could use a snack. Alright. We're a little, little warm here. 
here, a little war I mean a little cold, a little cold. So that wasn't very net very wasn't very productive trip. Most of the resources we got I don't even use really yet. Eldritch essence and a couple shrubs. Okay, what about the axe? Just pristine wood. So we must have some something that we can use to craft in in the um, storage. pristine wood. We got one pristine wood and one salvage. So not enough that we can actually build the axe, I think. We can build the axe, but not the sword. One fiber, okay. So that needs a grub root there. Okay, we have one fiber, awesome. Get an axe. Now we can go chop down a tree and get... Some more pristine wood for the picket, I mean the, the sword. What's cool on this game is you don't even have to place those in your, any in equipment slots or anything. They just automatically equip themselves when you're doing the chopping down the tree. Can we might as well stay and warm up. Press on. Only the weak don't even take a nap. The National Guard has now expanded the safety zone around the Jeepa facility from a one to a ten mile radius. And an even larger area around the facility has been evacuated. All right, on to the to the timberlands where you can chop trees. You doing way out here, girl? You need to get back to the fire and stay warm. I don't want you to go, Dad. All right. Our inventory is so small. We gotta chop one tree at a time. Cut them down. Destroy the resistance. 
See the boons we got last episode. We got start with a large supply of firewood, start with a large supply of food, which was awesome. Awesome, awesome. As soon as we get a settler, we can work on building buildings. I can craft here. What am I going to craft? I think we don't have enough salvage for the knife, but we can probably get the pickaxe, and then <coughs> find some salvage at the mining site. Wow, it's dark. It seems strange to be this dark. We need one fiber, one salvage. I don't have enough salvage. Yeah, I do not. When did we just make the axe and got a bunch of wood? Okay. What, what do we need for the clothes? Pristine remains times three, so we gotta do a lot of honey. I wanna get the survivors, but we just keep running into problems. This is crazy dark. I don't think I've ever seen it this dark. Stuff, but it's just firewood. I don't want any firewood. I've got plenty of firewood. Through, I took out the outpost. There we go, there's some good supplies. Poultice and Eldritch Essence. Lock on to him there, man. We got another one. Oh, damn it. Oh, we got this guy over here. Taking forever to get his bow out. Oh, we got him? I didn't think we would get him. Hit him. Looks like the sun's coming out. Oh, awesome. We got another chest here. I'll take this. Search this chest real quick. Primitive arrows, Eldritch Essence, and Pristine Wood. Not the best loot. I didn't finish searching this one though, did I? Yeah, I did. We've got the little bag over here. Where did it 
go. Oh well, there's another bag over here. Looks like a blizzard might be coming. Firewood and primitive arrows. Let's check the map and see what this is over here. What are we looking at here? It's a shelter. Which we might want to go to because I think a blizzard's coming in. Oh, it's just a tree. Have we claimed this forest yet? No, we haven't. Might as well claim it. The first time you chop down an animal or kill an animal or mine a rock, then you claim that resource area. Now our followers can come to this area and gather wood when we're not without us. On their own. So it turns out there wasn't a blizzard. Primitive arrows. Got tons of those. Is this a nest over here? Looks like a nest. Yeah. I guess I can take it down. Dying Ember and Salvage. We needed that Salvage. To make a... We gotta hatch it. We could get a pickaxe. Or a knife. I think I'm gonna save the Salvage until we get two more so we can get a knife. Then we can go rescue their follower from the mountain. Getting, them, getting followers as soon as possible is the most important thing. Guess I can get this firewood. Got some more primitive arrows. Go ahead and put like six in there. Destroying the ambience with a fire. We're getting pretty cold. We need a couple more pieces of salvage. But I'll sleep so that we can warm up. Sleep one hour. No, two hours. Now we can keep exploring. Alright, what's in our survival book? We should have wood cutting. I've read all this. Let's get up and out of here. Another nest over here. I wonder what this yellow thing is right here. doesn't say. I like how everything's got a, a light on it so you can find it and know what's what. So 
There's a, a chest here. There's enemies in here. I remember being coming to this place my last playthrough. There's a the clawed enemy in here. The Ripper. Oh, it was last time. Oh, okay, there he is. There he is. Yeah. Get a trusty torch ready. Yeah, we're supposed to have a knife. Not an axe. Let's use an axe. Maybe it'll help. Because it's sharper. There we go. One more time. Awesome. Nice little loot. A amount of loot in there. Primitive arrows, eldritch essence, and pristine wood. What we need is that salvage. Well, food's not too bad either. Copper ore. Salvage is really what we're looking for. So we can take those though. Salvage, there we go. One, one more piece of salvage and we can have a knife. Crap, we gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Pretty quickly in this area. I'm trying to hurry. Sorry. Cleanse, 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 cleanse. Uh, dang. Another one of those, and when you might be dead. All right. It's clear now. Bunch of eldritch essence and a bag. With undying ember and salvage, there we go. We have all the salvage we need for a knife. We need to find some shelter. What is this? Salvage. There's another piece of salvage. Another bag. Healing tonic, blight bane, and fiber. Now let's see about crafting this, uh, crafting this knife. We got what it needs. So let's craft one, then we can craft a pickaxe. Okay, I'll equip the knife. And all those two just sit in their inventory, don't go nowhere special. Now what about this shirt here? Pristine remains and a bunch of fiber. Okay. <coughs> let's eat some food here. Now let's wander back to our first base, but we can stop and kill some kill an animal uh, on the way. Making good progress. We took out like three nests already. Picked up some bunch of salvage. Got some tools.
is that that is the deer hello there deer would you come near there's no need to fear I'll give you a beer I don't know what that sound was I hope it wasn't a, a monster because we're on a hunt right now pretty weird. Where did it go? There it is. It's frozen solid. It's bleeding pretty bad. It's bleeding a lot. Need to work on my English. There, it's dead now. Awesome. Raw meat, pristine remains, and a bunch of tainted remains. We gotta clear out our inventory. What can we drop? Uh, we're so, we're uh we're real close to our base here. So let me just. Mark around there. <coughs> we can just run a couple feet and we'll be all set. The veil, we're here. Wood can go in there. The meat can stay in my inventory. The stack of arrows can go in there. The grub root can go in there, the blight vein can go in there, the eldritch essence can go in there, the pristine wood can go in there, undying ember can go in there, spark stone can go in there, copper can go in there, salvage can go in there. Now we gotta go get this food. It's cool that there's a hunting place so close to my base. food and warm up and see about constructing a jacket since our tools are we're well supplied on tools it says you will need your follow <coughs> followers to help rebuild your refuge use the uh, pristine remains for something else besides food. The jacket, I think. The jacket is three pristine remains and twelve fiber. How many pristine remains do we have? Okay, they look like bones. So we have three pristine remains. Now we just need fiber and that should be it. We can make fiber with grub root since we only have one. 
And we need... 12. Okay. Now we have 3. Now we have 5. Now we have 7. Now we have 9. 11. <coughs> 13. Make the jacket now. Yeah, very, a lot of progress this episode. We probably completed it faster this episode than we did the other two episodes. Now to get the armor jacket, we need salvage. And you wear that right over top of your... This one's to keep warm and the other one's armor. You can wear them both at the same time. On that second slot, on the empty slot on my character on the left hand side, it goes there. And we just need six scrap. How much scrap do we have here? The storm won't get us in here. Will it, Dad? Salvage, I mean. We got two when you four more. A thick white blanket coming to cover you. A blizzard's coming. So we might as well sleep through the blizzard. Or at least sit uh, down. Okay, we can sleep two hours. Blizzard is over. You should check if there are more people out there. Maybe we're going to be okay. Now the blizzard's gone. I will do that, sweetheart. Press up. We have all the weapons we need. I wonder what that is. It's a red dot over there. Uh, the enemies uh, are in this are weird. It's not doesn't take a lot of upgrades and stuff to kill them. It just once you know how to do it, you can do it real easily. So what is this red dot over here? To my left, I don't know what it is. Spooked the deer. I can't get up there, and I don't know what the red dot is. I know we need to get our survivor though, so let's head to the mountain. There she be, matey. The burning mountain. About maybe two little, two or three little enemies and the boss enemy. Come on, don't shoot me. Damn it. I ate 
hit the wrong thing. Yeah, press the wrong button. Now we're, we might die now. I gotta go in there with full health. Really nothing around here? Okay. This healing takes forever. I'm actually gonna try a different one. I'll try this one. Diminishing your pain. The returning agony will be. Got some veil creep and a visit with the Reaper. Summoning crystal eldritch essence. Essence and the Spark Stone. Blood Haw. Christine Wood. I'll take the Pristine Wood, sure, and some Blood Haw. I think we can go in the building. Let's see if we can heal again. We'll just get another one going while we're waiting. All right. Last time it Please was a weird, different looking fire. guy. You don't know what's out there. He had different. Soon. He had three skills. It's uh, almost done. He had uh, metalworking. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Jin. I forgot his Jin. skills, but it was different. You're guy. taking a huge risk. Don't you know fire attracts evil? I know the risks, but I also know my duties. What duties? Dying in vain for playing with fire? It's hardly the first fire I've sparked. Uh -oh. Monsters coming! Put that fire out now! Come on! I'm trying. Where are they? He's just making it bigger. Okay, there he is. Christine Wood. Oh, okay, there he is. <clears throat> Scatter it. Spread it out. I am. One more hit. There we go, Elder Justin. And there's another beast. Put it out now. Now it's out. Alright, one monster left. One more hit. 
All right, I owe you my life. Good job there, buddy. Awesome. What a fight. Yes. Many lost souls came here. Wait. What is that? Burnt bodies. Was this your family? No. I found them. Why risk your life to burn dead strangers? I don't want their souls to become corrupted. There we got. There must be a better way. Burning them before they return. Admirable. Your life is more valuable. How about... <clears throat> Well, there must be a better way. Yes. But there must be a better way to keep their souls from corruption. If we fulfill the duty of the living, the risk is nothing. Jin is the undertaker. He's proficient in woodcutting, craftsmanship, and construction. He's got good melee skills, but no range skills. He's melancholy. His self-healing is average. His health is 100. His story, Jin is a spiritual person. His meditative spirit is focused on the dark side of life. Enigmatic and tactitern, his actions speak louder than his words. Jin is resi resignedly focused on the spiritual side of corruption and is determined to save souls from it. He will go to great lengths to do what he believes is right, whatever the cost. Followers will automatically try to eat. Okay, I've already read that. Yeah, we can join. have him join the camp. Come uh, with yeah. me. I have a safe place to stay. The yes. first survivor reincarnated. The, band together. the Undertaker recruit Jin. Now that's pretty cool to have our first survivor done. And all of our equipment done. <clears throat> so quick. Oh crap, what was that? I don't know. Nothing good, I don't think. We got primitive barrel to the salvage. So we need three more salvage and we're, we have all of our gear already. We got some blood haw and another spirit, spirit orb. Summoning crystal, eldritch essence, and spark stone. Really, really want some salvage here. So we can get all three of those things done in one episode. Wow, that'd be cool. Check the map here. Turn to camp. Expedition over, your follower will get back to work. He's cutting wood. Wait, we have so much wood we don't you don't need to cut wood. That is totally the wrong thing Allie, to be doing. We have someone new in the camp. We've got five hundred came wood. in from the wild. He's called Jin. I saw Jin. He's very calm. Almost too calm. See what kind of construction we can start now. We got a hut, a sledding kennel, a wood carver's corner, butcher's corner, crafting shack, medicine hut, a palisade. What is that? Is that 
built in a straight line. And it cost a bunch of wood. So I'll say gate. That's pretty cool. I guess I'm gonna start with the hut here. Chop up this, uh, fill up this hut here. I guess we can go get some more firewood. on a good day. Come back in one piece, Dad. I'll try, baby. Spook the deer. Imagine this is a roguelike game. It seems like um, seems like a basic crafting game. Must be in bed, huh? Forty-five percent complete. Got all the supplies we need. Okay, let's see what building we can work on next. We've got Woodcarver's Corner. We don't have a person of depth in wood carving now. No, we sure don't. What are gin skills? Construction and wood cutting. Oh, we do have a wood cutter. Awesome. We've got to have wood forever now. I might as well build another one. And <coughs> we got what is he? He's good in wood cutting, craftsmanship, and construction. Okay, I'll get. Uh, I have a wood building, so I'll get a crafting shack. be about done with this. 75% complete. About the woodcutter's corner. What is this? The crafting shack. You need more pristine wood. 
we, we can turn tainted wood into pristine wood at the woodcutter's corner now that we have gin the woodcutter. 81%. That's just a hut so he doesn't use our supplies. He can have his own. Take the whole stack. Uh, what is that? Jin has completed the hut. He's working on the wood carver's corner. All right. I'll go show you the hut. I should have read that tooltip in the menu when I did it. See, it just says hut on top of it. You go in, it has a nice little fire, it has its own stash. So you can, you can live out here and not bother me and my daughter. Hut allows your followers to heat and eat more efficiently, reducing daily upkeep costs. Construct one hut per follower for optimum efficiency. Workshop allows a follower with the craftsmanship skill to create a wide variety of advanced tools and weapons. Oh, we need that. Oh, we gotta have adept construction. How do we get an adept construction? Check in the boons menu or whatever. So we got sustenance, insulation, health. I don't see any. Construction unlocking anywhere. Charges are good though. I mean, it's lace. I would like some stamina shards. So I don't get how you could upgrade the crafting to adept construction. My guy says he has adept construction, so why can't I build those huts? Shop, huh? Let's go with that right here. We're gonna have some awesome tools now. We can make lumber and copper nails, so we need a forge for the copper nails. But we don't have a metalworking follower, so that's gonna have to wait until we find a metalworking follower. this building? Yeah, it's just a concrete wall here. Well, this was your boy Super Plan Fade to Silence. We got a whole lot of progress made today, more than we've ever made before in a, in a smaller amount of time. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and it would help me out a lot if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.